Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. And uh, in my last video, I got gifted a seized up 25, 1983, 25 horsepower. I am back on that motor right now. That's what we're going to start with. I've done a few things, um, but still, nope, no spinny spinny. Let's look. Uh oh, lower unit's missing. I took the lower unit off. It's right there. Hoping that maybe something was bound there. But nope, it nope. So, took off the pool recoil and move that out of my way. I need to take that off. the ground for the coil. Just leave that like that out my way. And then get my tappet hammer. Ball penis, you understand us. Ball penis. Oh forgot to put a rag down there. Let me get my rag real quick. It's gonna make an oily mess. Yeah. Let's see what's in them old cylinders. Uh oh. I'd say it's the bottom one. But they're not that bad. It's just seized rust up right there. Mostly on that bottom. There is some rust right there. But there's a little score in it looks like but man it ain't I can still see nice cross hatching in there and everything so how's the head gasket look? looks good so we got to try and get this puppy unstuck that's all there is to it Rip, let me get my br 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 breaker b b bar Maybe, I think I'll try heating the pistons again. Dueling torches. So, I think I will try heating the pistons and getting them really good and hot. Maybe I can even swing it to where I can just let the torches sit there and go for a good 10-15 minutes. Get that out of my way so I don't burn it up. Get all the stuff that I don't want to burn it up. Out the way. Alright, um, yeah, I should probably move that too. That's all right. Cause I've done difficult before. Uh huh. I've done difficult before. But just looking at them cylinders, I see the little rust there where it's kind of hung up. If I can burn that off. Maybe do to heat it and then uh, shock it with cold water thingy. Maybe that'll help. Maybe it won't. She got some salt on her though. But looking at that, what little bit of the cylinders I can see, I mean, most of these pistons.
almost are up all the way. But what you got to ask yourself are this, are them barons in there, them crank barons froze and all rusty, crusty and dusty. Alright, so now, I wonder if I could, well, first I'm going to heat that, heat the, uh, right where I see the rust down here on the bottom of the piston. minutes like that and then I'll try and get it spinning. and if not we'll heat it some more but I got both of my torches clamped on with vice grips one in each cylinder get them good and hot I'll be back all right so I heated it and I decided I would even try and sacrifice the flywheel. I've got some broke off teeth down here where I was hammering on it with a hammer. Um, I got it to move about an inch. And the top cylinder is free it actually has a little bit of movement in it. I don't know if you can see that or not. But the bottom one is the one that appears to be stuck. But banging on it with a hammer and a real dull chisel, I knocked off a few teeth here, but I got it to move about an inch. And I thought, well, that's movement. So what I'm going to do is just let it sit for another day or two and if I can't get it to move after that it will become a parts motor soaks the show must go on okay oh, remember what I told you about these hood latches here's another one
another one like the other one. Another one. Just like the other one. Oh, great. I don't know what this is all about. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I'm going to have to stand corrected. I'm going to have to stand corrected, I guess. All right. I'm always saying there's creepy crawlies. And most of the time, it's spiders. And I'm like, well, what do they eat? I never see any other bugs in there. I'm going to have to stand corrected. It's full of flies. See them moving right there? See the fly? Some kind of bug. And there's a bunch of them dead, mostly. But they're in there moving around. See them down in there? Down in there? Bugs. Flies of sorts. There's another one moving. Are they beetles, maybe? That one looks like a beetle. There's one moving right there on the move. Nah, no, they're not beetles. There's some kind of fly. There's a whole bunch of them in there. There's some in there, moving around. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Critters. Uh, now let's see if the thing will even spin over because it's missing a spark plug. Oh yeah. One of them flies right there. And they're all up under them. That is bizarre. That's a, that's a first for me. I don't know. God. And it's got some kind of nasty something. Jesus. Sorry, I don't. These flies, there's so many of them, they're falling out on the floor. know what this yuck is in here besides a bunch of dead bugs but really nasty looking stuff almost looks like some kind of fish meal or something it's been put in there guess is whatever this nasty stuff is in here that's what attracted the flies Creepy crawlies, nasty stuff. So, let's 
Let's do a little fog and see if something comes out of there. Whoa, there goes some bugs. See all them? See them jumping out of there? Look at them. Look at them bugs jumping out of there. Look at that. Hopefully you can see all this. Bugs are just jumping out everywhere. Lordy, lordy. a little of intake cleaner in there and he started bailing. Let's see what's up under this bonnet. It gets much more nastier than this. I might... There we go. Look at there. Look at that. Look at them bugs. I do not know what those are. <laughs> There's some kind of fly. And uh, when I sprayed the uh, intake cleaner, a bunch of them died and bailed right into there. Let's give them another blast of juju. Don't know what you are, but you can't stay in there. The things you find in outboards. Yeah. Man, oh man. The things you find in the outboard motors. Stay in there. Wouldn't surprise me thing. Look at that. They're in the carb and everything. Look down there on the floor. Bugs everywhere. So, I'm going to go get a cup of coffee, I think, and let this thing debug. They're even coming out from up under the pan and everything. Oh, yeah, a bunch of trouble. Oh, yeah. And that's something. <laughs> the damnedest things you find in outboards. Yep. Now we gotta get to sweeping. Cut the boogs. Damn, they're even coming out the exhaust. Check it out. Watch the exhaust right there.
watch, watch this right there. Here they come. Watch. Isn't that something? They're literally coming up, falling out of the entire exhaust leg. All right. This is ridiculous. So, has anybody ever seen that out of an outboard before? Look at them coming out of that exhaust. That whole leg is full of them. They were in the cylinders and everything. That whole exhaust port on the other side is full of them. Watch them. Here they come. Yeah, that whole leg's probably full of the damn things. They're coming out of the exhaust too, the um, propeller exhaust. So I'm going to take this thing, set it right out here, and give it a good treatment of maybe some high pressure water. But never know what's going to come in to this little shop. Let me sweep the ones I got in here out. Never know. Okay. One on my gas tank here. So I think I got all them out of here. There's one more over here. Isn't that crazy? Unbelievable. <sighs> I've used intake cleaner for a lot of things. Look at all them live ones. Squish the bugs. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's where that outboard is going to lay for lay for a cup of coffee, and then I'll come back down and hose everything out. Just crazy. I'll be back. Even after all the intake cleaner and everything I've squirted in there. 
they're they're still crawling out by the dozens out of that recoil starter. I've been spraying water in there, but I don't know what them things are, boy. But see them there? They're just all crawling out of that re recoil starter when I and. Uh, that leads me to think that they're probably all up in that leg. And I don't know if the cold has got them half lethargic or what. But, uh... But yeah, they're crawling all out of that recoil starter. Sorry about that. Zoom back out. There comes some more up out of there. <laughs> the edge of it crazy hey I don't know about you but I've about had it up to here with stuck out boards bug infested outboards so I was thinking it's a beautiful day and evening out tonight what do you say we just take a ride step back from it all let the bugs finish migrating out of that motor what do you say we just take a ride and go look at some of the Kodiak scenery I'm sure up for it. How about you? You want to come? Let's go. This is the Russian Orthodox Church here in Kodiak. It's a really pretty fall evening. So I thought I'd film it a little bit. Pretty bells up there. 
those bells are actually hooked to some kind of automated thing and on certain Russian Orthodox holidays they chime them and it makes like think piano player kind of thing but the pretty cottonwood tree with its fall colors and the pretty domes yeah the Russian Orthodox Church Kodiak Alaska beautiful sunset starting that's barometer mountain that the sun's setting behind over there this is pillar mountain up there with the windmills and the boat harbor is the St. Herman's Harbor there's a big crab boat kind you would see on the deadliest catch got some of them big pots on there getting ready for to do some crabbing I guess and there's the harbor Salmon season, I think, will be coming to a close. I think they're still fishing them, some of the diehards. But, beautiful day out today and evening. I can't remember if I ever recorded this or not. It's the, This is the Star of Kodiak. And what it is, is a World War II Liberty ship. There's a few of these scattered throughout the Aleutian Islands um, up here in Alaska. This one was floating until the 1964 earthquake hit here. And it got washed up ashore, and they just built a dock around it and turned it into a cannery. And, uh, but yeah, Star of Kodiak. I can't remember if I ever filmed it or not, but you can see who owns it now. Trident Seafoods. And you see all them seagulls sitting on that truck? That's what they call a gut truck. They take all the cannery scraps and everything and put them in those trucks and haul them up to the bioremediation plant where they turn it into fish meal, which is used in pet foods and from what I understand, cosmetics and other things. Um, so, but yeah, Trident owns all those buildings you see down through there and all, but this is the World War II Liberty ship Star of Kodiak. I'm at the city pier now. Um, Normally there's a lot of big boats here loading and unloading pots and gear and stuff like that. But I just thought this was a really good shot of the, the mountains. Out that way is the Coast Guard base and Bell's Flats. And that big crane right there is how we basically get our groceries and pretty much everything else that gets shipped to Kodiak. And uh, just beneath it, you can see Barometer Mountain. I don't know the name of all them other mountains. Most of them, I know one of them over there, probably that one is called Heitman. But it looks like we got some clouds rolling in out there. Maybe they'll blow back out. And that's Dog Bay Harbor, way over there. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, I just need to needed to step back away from it with this stinky bug infested Johnson that came in here. So it's getting a little bit late tonight, so that's gonna be a wrap. Thanks for watching. That's one more hack from Kodiak. Make sure to subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.